we bring in Corey Davis and, uh, you know, the expectation is that Corey Davis would be better than he's been. And he really, I mean, he's been decent, but he hasn't been good. And the argument now is going to be, oh, yeah, we don't have a number one. We don't have a number one. We don't have, we don't have a good enough team to justify having a type of guy anyway. We don't have tight ends. We don't have offensive line. Our run game, while we believe that we've got young, valuable players, those guys haven't been effective either. So, I mean, what, so what does that mean? We get a number one receiver that we pay, you know, 20 mil a year, and then what? He, it, the, what, the defenses then become so focused on him specifically that, uh, you know, he, he's ineffective anyway. So now we're paying $20 million for a guy getting double and triple teams and quite possibly he's going to get hurt and doesn't have a quarterback who's going to be able to give him the ball, nor does he have an offensive coordinator who's going to scheme him to be open anyway. What difference does it make, right? We have so many other fish to fry currently. It makes all of these arguments really stupid. Now, the offensive line, I can't argue that, right? I, I, I do agree we probably should have done – as much as possible to bring these guys in. But I do, again, believe that we don't do that at the, at the cost of being able to do other things, right? We've been listening, oh, yeah, we have too many holes. We have too many holes, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to spend, we're going to have the highest paid player at every position on, on, the, uh, on the line, on both sides, in linebacker core, in wide receiver. We're going to have the highest paid player at every position because it's the Jets. And in order for us to be good, we have to do that. It's not. Ask, ask the Dallas Cowboys. They had the mo- the highest paid player at the most positions in the NFL, and they haven't won anything since 96. Tony 94. Romo was arguably one of the best quarterbacks that we've seen. How many playoff wins does he have? How many playoff appearances, you know, uh, over the course of the time that he was there? So, look, all of those things doesn't necessarily mean anything. What, we, what we're doing now and what I think needs to be understood is that what it is that we are doing now has never been seen. It's never been done before. We can't say that Joe Namath came in and had this this monster, you know, whatever, the, the, the year that he won the Super Bowl. That that wasn't necessarily what it was. And I'm not even going to say that I was born and alive to, to see it. But, I mean, you go back and, and, and check, the, check the history, check the facts on, on, on what really it was. Like, we were a good team, but come on now, we weren't supposed to win that game. Joe Namath, for all intents and purposes, and I mean, I know I get a lot of fact for it, but Joe, Joe Namath wasn't even a really good quarterback. I mean, just, just no, statistically. No, he wasn't. I mean, he wasn't even a good quarterback. So, you know, all of these people that, that'll say, oh, yeah, the, 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 uh, since, since Joe Willie, whatever. Joe Willie wasn't even a good quarterback. It was a culmination of all the planets and stars and moons and, and everything lining up. And we ended up winning, a, a, you know, we ended up beating a, a beatable team. We, we won a winnable game. And, and that, that happened on any given Sunday. Ask the Tennessee Titans right now, right? Yeah, but, which is why I think we can beat Cincinnati. Yeah, I, I think we can too. I don't, the, the, the questions that I have right now are, is, is Mike LaFleur going to allow Mike White to play ball or is he going to treat him like Zach Wilson? And I'm sick of all of this conversation about coddling Zach Wilson. Why are you coddling your franchise player? Why are you not, why are you, not you know, giving him target practice, right? And, and, and Jimmy, you remember this. I've been talking about this for how many years? I'm, I, even with Sam Donald, I'm sick of security blankets. I want him to have weapons. I want him to have guns and ammo. I want him to have rifles and rockets and tanks and and, and I want him to have juggernauts and all kind of different stuff. You know, run, run these people over, blow these people up, do something. Stop talking about security blankets and and all of this other stuff. I want I want if you know what I want to see Zach Wilson throw 150 interceptions. Because he's doing everything that he can to try to get his weapons involved in this game. That he's trying to do as much as he possibly can. And, and, and the offensive coordinator is doing as much as they possibly can to get them acclimated to being prolific. That's what I want to see. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm sick of the check downs. I'm sick of run, run, pass. I mean, look, if, if, if they run on first down one more time, I swear to God, I'm going to kick, I'm gonna kick a, a hole in the wall behind my TV. I'm going to put my foot all the way through both of them. <laughs> I'm sick. I mean, I, I looked, I'm, I'm with Kevin on this one because the only thing you're doing is you're putting you're putting Zach in a detrimental situation because what's going to happen is when mm. it gets to third and eight, it's a third and long then, right? And now it's like you're asking him already to do too much. And then what's every single time they're trying to do – I think the problem with Zach too is he tries to be a hero at times. Like he still thinks that's he's what at, it, that's, that's the problem. He, he, he that's still it. thinks he's at BYU, right? Like he's playing these teams – where he could just chuck it down 45 yards and the guy's going to catch it every single time. And it's just not how it is in the NFL. And he's got to realize it. The other thing that they need to do is they need to utilize his legs more. No pun intended because of what happened with the injury. He's so much better throwing the ball on the run than he is staying in the pocket. Like, and I feel like they're not taking advantage of that 